Hello there, I'm Chef Johnny. This is Texas Style Barbecue and Cuisine. Appreciate you stopping by today. We're barbecuing a chuck roast. Y'all stick around and see how we cook this up on our UDS that we made at home. My wife picked up a really nice chuck roast at HEB the other day, not too fat. Got a little bit around the edges, not too much modeling in it. We're trying to kind of watch our, our fat intake here, her and I both are, so this is gonna work good for that. And what I'm gonna use to season this with is, is some uh, uh, sushi spices. We're gonna use specifically their big Texas rub. Uh, but they sent this to me the other day. It's a nice little box. If you wanna send this to somebody, it'd probably work pretty good. But uh, anyways, four containers that came out with an exotic island. I want to try that on some fish. Um, a sweet, spicy, and smoky rub, a Cajun rub, and then, of course, the big Texas rub. So real nice little containers. We're going to give these a try, see how this uh, big Texas spice rub turns out on this chuck roast. So let me show you how I season this up. This rub's got a good smell to it. I had already, it came kind of with a foil on top. I've already taken all that off, but I'm going to. I'm going to put quite a bit of this on there. Oh, that looks good. I'm just going to pick it up and put some of this that fell off the sides. I'm going to try to put it on the side now. Whenever we cook this, we're going to kind of push it together. That will hold it together, and uh, it'll cook a little more uniformly. But got spice all over. We're going to let it sit for a little bit. I'm going to cover it up and uh, get my UDS up to about 275 degrees. We'll show you how we get this on there. Pits up to temp. We're going to get the chuck roast on there. Take this and put it right in the center of our grill. Now I'm gonna put a couple of temperature probes in there with it. This first one, I'm gonna put on a, a little catch to hold it so it can get a great temp for us. Take our other one, slide it in about the center of our meat. Again, just unroll it. I've washed these off, they're brand new, so we cleaned them good a while ago. And you don't want to be in this UDS too long, or sometimes you get a little flare up. I'm starting to see some flames coming up. I don't want that to happen, so lids on it. Got that done. Let me show you a little bit about this uh, temperature probe that we're using. This is the ink bird uh, that I got the other day, and I'll turn this on. Now, this is a uh, Rechargeable, so realize when you get it, it's not going to be charged. I don't expect you to just grab it and throw it on your pit. You're going to have to let it charge. So, it's there. It's waiting for me to plug something into it right now. What I'm going to do is, is uh, get one of our probes here. Actually, a couple of our probes. It's got four probes. It is wireless. Haven't tested to see how far it would go yet. But uh, we're going to see how the temperature registers. Now, it says it will register down to 32 degrees. If it will register down to 32 degrees, I'm going to show you how to check the probes to make sure they are correct. And uh, if you have a thermometer that doesn't go that low, I know a lot of them only go to 50, then check it in boiling water. Boiling water should be 212 degrees. Just make sure your probes are not touching the bottom. So I'm just going to take uh, one of my probes. And it's going to go in there and make sure you push it all the way in till it snaps. If it doesn't go till it snaps, it's going to give you false readings. Now, I've got those plugged in. What I want to make sure is, is that my uh, Bluetooth is on. And we're going to let it be searching for this device. i got two probes, 95 out here evidently. So you can see the two probes that I have plugged in at 95 degrees. And what I want to do is, I want to see if they'll register 32 degrees. So, what I have here is an ice slurry. Now, 
this is ice all the way to the bottom. It's not a little bit of ice. I mean, it's solid ice with a little bit of water. Just enough water to fill it up. And if we kind of put these in here and stir them, holding them together, it should go to 32 degrees. So now our slurries, both, that they've been in a little bit, they're both at 32. So that's excellent. They're reading 32, 290 and 89 for our meat temperature. So happy with the way these turned out. And actually, I ran all four of them earlier, and I know they went down to 32. So just showing you all how we do this. But make that ice slurry. Make sure it's on there good. This will track it, and we're going to have uh, Wi-Fi, so I can follow it on my phone, and it'll send me alarms, do all kinds of different things. But this is a neat little uh, uh, thermometer, and I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to be giving one of these away. So uh, this video will come out on Tuesday morning. Uh, if you're on my live on Wednesday evening, 6 o'clock, and it's uh, Central Time, 6 o'clock Central, I go live, normally 6 to 6.35, 6.40. Somewhere in that neighborhood, maybe a couple of minutes late, but be looking for me between 6 and 6.30. We're going to have the giveaway. If you're on that live, you're going to be eligible for the, for the giveaway. And I'm not going to tell anybody about it except for people that's watching this video. So if you're watching this video, uh, you're going to uh, know it. Or if you're on that live, I'll say, hey, we're going to have a giveaway. Uh, but we're not going to announce it to everyone. And uh, we're going to send you one of these ink birds with four uh, Temperature probe seems to be working pretty good. So we're going to let this smoke up, let it go for a while, and uh, when it gets to temp, we'll pull it off and see how this uh, chuck roast turns out. This chuck roast got plenty of uh, smoke on it. We're going to take it off, wrap it up so we can finish up getting it tender. The roast is looking pretty. So we're just going to take our foil and fold it up in here. I'm going to kind of go around. But probe you could pull I'm not one that thinks you can't pull the probe out. Normally I would but I don't know why it didn't today. This is a regular regular foil so it's not a, a heavy duty so I'm just gonna put it in here and double wrap it. Bet we go another hour. Uh, this is gonna be ready. Be a really really good tender chuck roast. This meat's about 195. I'm gonna go ahead and pull it off. Things can be nice and tender. We should be able to slice it up and be real good. There it is. Gonna let it rest for a little bit. Gonna unwrap it, burp it, let it rest a little while. Then we're gonna see how it slices up. This chuck roast got some beautiful color on it. Tell you what, that big uh, Texas spice rub. Smells good, and I tell you what, it's pretty. I'm gonna save that au jus in there. We may pour this back over the meat in a second, but probes out. That is just looking lovely. Let me give this a try, see how it is. Mm, I tell you what, I think I'm gonna start up here. We're just gonna slice a big piece of this off. Open that up where we can see it. Tell you what, we got some pretty smoke ring in there. Now, I did not want this chuck falling apart. I wanted it to be sliceable, so that is lovely. But it's got, some, like I said, beautiful color. Sliceable. Dude, just look at that. Man. Nice, tender, juicy. wonderful chuck roast. I'll tell you what, just beautiful, beautiful chuck roast. Cooked up excellent. Um, it looks pretty, boy. That smoke ring is something else on there. That UDS just did a great job cooking it. Uh, seasoned it up right here. Big Texas Spice Rub from uh, Sushi Spices. Showed that to y'all earlier. 
put a link down below so you can check them out. But I don't have any gripes about this big spicy rub at all. It, it's beautiful. Now, I'll tell you what, it's a good looking box of spices here. And uh, enjoyed the way that they, they cooked up my, uh, my chuck roast. Flavor was great. It's good looking. I'm anxious to try some of these spices on some other things. I just got an email in from them, and they're going to give you all a little more discount. So um, go follow the link down below. You can, you can see these spices. They were uh, $29.99, I think. They've dropped them down to $24.99. Plus, if you put in the code, they're going to give you another dollar off that. So six bucks off this price. And uh, you got to use the code, though, that's down below to get that discount. But very good spices. Uh, I'm excited about trying them. Uh, on some other items, but they work great on this chuck roast. So remember to check out that link and use that discount code so you can get that extra little bit off. They've lowered the prices five bucks, and they're gonna give you another dollar off if you put in my link. So make sure you do that. We need to get a taste of it, don't we? Let's see how it tastes. Mm. Very good. Like I said, I pulled it off at about 195. Wanted it sliceable. Um, you don't want it just falling apart, so I pulled it off a little bit early. But I have no complaints at all. I think it's a wonderful, wonderful uh, chuck roast. The uh, the Texas spicy rub. What is it called again? Uh, Big Texas spice rub. Great, got just a little bit of heat in it. I like that kind of a smoky sense to it. But right here, our uh, ink bird. Got that here. Remember the drawing. So today's Tuesday. Tomorrow, it's going to be on my live. And so uh, it's the first Tuesday after this. I mean, the first Wednesday after this video comes out. When it's going to be, and we're going to we're going to give one of these away. Mmm. Very very good. So there you go. We're done. Great great chuck roast sliced up. It's nice and tender, bites through, uh, no uh, no falling apart. Didn't want to take it quite that far, but it did great. The uh, rubs, thanks uh, Suchi Spices for sending this down. Uh, I'll put a link down below for this little gift pack that they have. Little four packs, got some different seasons. You'll be seeing us trying this on some different items real quick. And the uh, Inkbird, try that. Don't forget that free giveaway with it. There it is, looks good, tastes fantastic. New spices we tried, something brand new came out good. So thanks for stopping by Texas Style Cuisine. Always do appreciate it. Remember to tell your friends and family about us. Share us on your social media. And we're going to see you all down the road. How them boys put food away beats all I've ever seen.